My name is Leon Bowen and I'm a film and television production student. Recently I've been speaking to an artist who'd like to stay anonymous for the time being. I've been speaking to him about his latest and possibly biggest project of his life, Literate. Over the past couple of months he's been putting together a collection of artwork for public display. Hopefully the reason you're watching this is because you've seen some of his work. His paintings are a statement, a statement about how a majority of the population drop their rubbish instead of putting it in the bin or taking it home and disposing of it correctly. This is having a big impact on some of the amazing landscapes and seascapes around the UK. Literate is his way of making people more aware and making this more noticeable to as much of the population as possible. Some people may call this a stunt, but really it's an act of independent creativity to bring light to this problem. How else can an everyday citizen make a worthy statement that has an effect? Literate is an attempt to bring attention to this problem in an artistic way. I hope you enjoy the interview. First off, find a little bit of information about you, obviously not too much, uh, providing the circumstances. Uh, first question, how long have you been painting for? 37 years. Yeah, so it's a long time. Yeah. Um, did you go to art college? No. Well, why not? Wasn't keen on the kind of people that art colleges would turn out, to be perfectly honest. Saw the kind of work, don't like contemporary art, generally. Um, no, not impressed. Yeah? Yeah, I knew exactly what I wanted to do, and they weren't going to teach me that at art college. As we see all your stuff, is very natural, uh, natural artwork and landscape, just like uh, your project at the moment, uh, which is Literate. Um, I'm just jumping straight away, what's it all about? It's about the state of this country, really. It's about the fact that um, it seems as though present generation and unfortunately previous generations, but more generations, seem to lack any kind of respect um, for the place where they live. Um, it's astounding to me that people will quite happily drop litter anywhere and sometimes in the most beautiful parts of Britain and not worry about it. It's just something that they do. Um, and um, it needs to be said, something needs to be said. It's the kind of thing that can be changed overnight. It's just a mindset. Yeah. And uh, by illustrating that, by taking images of some of the most iconic views in Britain and introducing something that really shouldn't be there, the whole idea is to try and shock people into the fact that, no, it shouldn't be there. Yeah. Um, the Americans have a, a very... Um, simple ethos when it comes to the great outdoors and that is that you take only photographs and you leave only footprints and um, I think it's a wonderful idea I don't understand why in Britain people take photographs and then leave all the crap behind Why are people going to take notice of you? Why are you doing it? Nobody else is doing it and uh, it's, somebody's, got to do, somebody's, got, somebody's got to say something What do you hope to gain from it? If anything, um, I can't say it would be nice to actually get some recognition for some of the work that I've been doing, um, but ultimately it'd be great to have some kind of impact yeah. um, as far as the great British public is concerned. If it raises the profile of an issue like litter, um, and some people might consider it to be quite a trivial issue, the reality is that it's about pride. It's about pride in the, the place where you live, your neighbourhood, the country you live in, and some of the most beautiful places in, in the world. You know, what, why do, I don't understand, it just doesn't compute to me as to why people do it. Yeah. Uh, is this just a one-off stunt then, that you're going to do? Or? No, I don't think it will be. Um, if there is a reaction, then um, uh, it's got to be carried on. We've got to do more. Yeah. Or I've got to do more. And uh, I've already got targets in mind. The thing that worried me about the idea of street art, personally, is that... Uh, Obviously, there's legal connotations with that, yeah. and um, the whole idea behind the literate, uh, as we've called it, or the battle for Britain, is that um, by installing an artwork, um, i.e. littering it, mm -hmm. um, the worst that I'm doing is littering, yeah. but in a way to try and highlight that as a problem. So I'm not actually looking to do any kind of criminal damage to... Uh, to a building, um, and um, ironically, I think the worst I could be 
charged with would be littering, right. which would be really quite ironic. You also mentioned Battle for Britain there as well, uh, as well as literati. What's the connection there? Um, the idea of launching the, uh, the project on the 15th of September, which is the anniversary of the, uh, the Battle of Britain, um, I think it's kind of ironic that uh, over the years, whether it was the First or the Second World War or subsequent wars, um, men and women have lost their lives fighting for this country and fighting for the landscape and fighting for the other people that live in this country. Um, and um, the people that live here don't respect it. No. They don't respect their own backyard and they don't respect other people's backyard. And that is part of the slippery slide. Mm. I do believe that a lack of pride and a lack of respect um, over something like litter is carried on in life. There's a lack of pride and a lack of respect in general from an awful lot of population. Yeah. What sort of materials are you used to paint? The paint is acrylic, and uh, the material is, uh, is a material called stockboard, which is a recycled plastic um, made from rubbish yeah. uh, in Liverpool. It's made by so. a company called Centriforce, who've uh, uh, sponsored the project um, and actually provided me with materials. And um, it's a fantastic piece of, uh, uh, piece of kit. It, 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 uh, it's incredibly durable, it isn't going to rot, um, and uh, it's one of the reasons why they can be left outside. Yeah. Um, left outside, is anybody going to steal it? Uh, good luck with that. Yeah. Really heavy stuff. <laughs> uh, you're going to need two people and a van. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. I've noticed on the pictures a lot of the litter is painted in red. Is there any reason for that? Uh, yeah, it took a leaf out of. Uh, John Constable's book. If you look at a constable painting, you'll find a little bit of red in it usually. Yeah. Red makes a big, big difference in the landscape. So I'm not going to name any particular products, but we all know them. They've got a lot of red in them and they stand out really well. So they finish yes. off the picture. Fair enough. Uh, you haven't used people in any of the pictures. Is there a reason for that? Um, not very good at painting people. Right. Sir. Um, have to admit that I go to places, uh, whether that be in the mountains or by the sea, to be uh, in relative solitude. Um, I don't particularly like crowds, not keen on <laughs> cities, and um, yeah, and it's difficult to paint people, and it would have been more work. Yeah, uh, you say you like landscapes, seascapes, you've only painted landscapes and seascapes, um, no urban landscape, how come? Um, I think really what I wanted to get across was the fact that it wasn't just um, cities. We probably expect to see litter in cities. Yeah. But when you go to some of the most beautiful landscape in Britain, you don't expect to see litter because you would hope that the people that go there go there because it's beautiful Yeah. and it won't be enhanced by them leaving their rubbish behind. But unfortunately, they still do. Yeah, that's what happens. Um, how can we find out in the future what else you've got planned? Um, YouTube, Twitter, yeah, Facebook. Um, Is there any good you well? So are you going to be able to find out the name and things on the paintings? How can people recognise it when they see your work out in the street? Um, that's a good question. The work's tagged. Right, so how do you mean tagged? Uh, I haven't signed the work. Yeah. But it's tagged with uh, with ID. Right, yeah. Uh, I wish you all the best and hope the plan comes together and it is really effective uh, on the public in the UK. Um, and good luck. Thank you very much for this interview. Thank you. Excellent.